What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can save blobs on iOS 14. I'm gonna cover older A11 and older devices and also the newer A12 Plus devices. Uh, depending on which device you have, you will have to use a different process. Like I said, if you have an A12 device or newer, there is extra steps. Uh, so we'll start with the older devices. This is gonna be A11 chip and older. So like iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, anything iPhone 10 and older. Uh, if you're trying to do this on the iPad as well, it's gonna be A11 chip and older. It's really quite simple. So pretty much all we need is this application here. It's nonce set one, four, three. So to get this, you will have to add a repo in Cydia uh, to get it or in Cilio if you're using the Taurine uh, jailbreak on the older devices. Uh, just go ahead and, and install this application. And then to save blobs, it's super simple. We're just going to copy the hexadecimal ECID just like that. So just copy it. And then we're going to go to useful sites. We're going to go to TSS saver. And then we're going to go ahead and input that hexadecimal ECID by clicking on paste. And then we're going to big shout out to IMAT as well for helping me get through this. This is really confusing to me. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and select our device. I do have the iPhone 10 global. So just make sure you're selecting on the proper device. Um, there is different models and stuff. You might have to Google exactly which device you have. Uh, and once you figure it out, just write it down or something. But I have the iPhone 10. So I'm just going to put the hexadecimal ECID and then my device type in and click on submit. And now we do have to do this annoying thing here where I will hopefully get all the bicycles. Go ahead and click on check. And now we have uh, saved the blobs for our device. So we'll go ahead and click on open link and I'll show you guys that the blobs are saved. So the only current signed firmware for our iOS right now is 14.4.2. So this did work properly for the older devices. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my 10s Max and I'll show you guys how to do it on A12 Plus. Okay, now that we're on the 10s Max, like I said, this is gonna be A12 Plus. So iPhone 10s, 10R, 10s Max, the iPhone 11, or the iPhone 12s. Any of those, there's gonna be additional steps. We need to have a nonce generator, we have to have an AP nonce, and we have to have the hexadecimal ECID. We need all three things in order to save blobs properly on these newer devices. So again, go ahead and install the nonce set 143. Um, I am using the Taurine jailbreak currently, so I do have Cilio, and I did install it through Cilio. So we'll just go to nonce, and as you can see, nonce set one four three. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little confusing. If you're if you're jailbroken with Taurine with Cilio, that's all you need. Taurine will generate the the nonce automatically. So Taurine comes built with the ability to to generate a nonce. If you're on Uncover, it does not do this. And I'll show you guys how to get the nonce to generate if you guys are using the uncover. So again, um, basically like the same thing. We have nonce set on both. And now for the newer devices, you will have to go into Cydia and you will have to install another package and it's libkrw. So this top one right here, you will have to install this to generate the nonce. And I'll show you guys this in action. So if we go into nonce set, let me back up. As you can see, nonce, nonce, not set as you guys can see there <laughs> nonce not set nonce okay so now if we go to Cydia and we install libkrw we can go ahead and confirm that and i think that's library kernel read write i believe that's what it stands for i'm not sure but if we if we install it we can go back in let's uh, go ahead and kill nonce set one four three and then you will see that the nonce has been generated right there so you can see the nonce has been generated now. Like I said, you have to do that for the uncovered jailbreak. For the Taurine jailbreak, you don't. You can just go in here and you have a, a nonce generated. As you guys can see, I'll even kill it and we'll open it back up to show you that the nonce has been generated. So we're gonna need the nonce, we're gonna need the AP nonce, and we're gonna need the hexadecimal code uh, to save the blobs for the newer devices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the hexadecimal again, like we did before. I'm gonna to go to useful sites. I'm gonna to go to TSS saver. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it in Safari now so that I can go back in Nance 143. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste in that hexadecimal ECID. I'm going to choose my device here while I'm in here. And this is the 10s Max. It is not the China version. It is that version right there. So there's the 10s Max 11.6. Remember, just make sure you're picking the correct um, device. And as you can see, we need um, the app nonce and the generator. Okay. So we're going to go back to nonce one four. So here's the app nonce. So this you can actually go ahead and copy. And then we're going to go back in here and we're going to put the app nonce in. And now we're going to go back to get the generator, which is this one here. We'll copy that one and we'll hop back in, paste that into the generator click on paste. Now we can do submit and we need to find motor buses. Great. Is that all the motor buses? There's a lot of motor buses. Hopefully that's all of them. Go ahead and click on check. There we go. It's finally loading. And there we go. Device added to queue. I'm going to do open link. And now, as you can see, I have saved the blobs for 14.4.2. That's how you're going to save them on A12 and up. So iPhone 10s, 10R, 10s Max, iPhone 11, or iPhone 12. You do need the generator. You do need the, the app nonce. And you do need the hexadecimal ECID. All three things input every time. And that's how you're going to save blobs on iOS 14. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.